All right, you know what? I always cut it short, anyways. Always cut it short. Ugh. You guys notice how I never use that song in my videos anymore. How's it going, everybody? Hair's all over the place. That's kind of annoying. I don't like that. How's it going, everybody? What's up? Ah, man, what a day. Um, indeed, what a day, what a day, what a day. Um, how you guys doing tonight? Pretty good? Uh, I'm noticing right now we have World Fast Douchebag, Jamel, uh, Christine, back in the channel, um, Katie, Hanan, I've seen that name before. Um, thank you guys, my hair is definitely not on point. Um, so, what we have right here is, I just want to point out first, I'm wearing, shout out to all the Zelda bras and bra ads. I hate that word, but I'm going to use it in a sense. Ocarina of Time, childhood. Childhood, pure childhood. Damn, it's really bothering me. It is really bothering It should not be that curly. There should be a rule. There should be a rule about curly hair like that. Um, whatever, I'm going to get past it. Move forward. Um, how is everybody doing tonight? Hopefully good. Hopefully good. Hopefully good. I'm actually trying out a new uh, pizza dough that's not garbanzo bean flour tonight. You guys can see right here. A little stir fry. Something a little different. There's nothing wrong with different, right? Nothing wrong with different. So... You guys, of course, I like to throw you, not throw you, literally throw you, but put you all in the next video. So shout out to everybody, all the regulars. Saturday night live stream. Oh, Saturday night live stream. Um, yeah, it's always good to have regular subs come back in, say hi. So shout out to everybody. Um, we're going to be pulling out the pizza right now, so let's do it. This wants to, I hope I didn't burn it. I'm very good at burning things. Very, very good at burning things. I'm very good at burning things. And they're not bad. One side is kind of burnt, but that's where I like it. Boom. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. This is a garlic. I did more garlic in the crust this evening. So. Boom. More garlic in the crust. The key is in, the key is in the garlic. The key in this sense is in the sauce. This is a coconut tomato garlic sauce. Guys, there are so many options with Pizza, it is not even funny. I just put it that way. So I got my sprouts. Of course, you guys gotta have the tofu, or I should say I should have the tofu. And we have the stir fry and Mr. Pizza. Mr. Pizza, Mr. Pizza, Mr. Pizza. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I have kind of an awkward setup. If you guys haven't been able to tell, I have a really, really awkward setup. Um, it's kind of annoying, but small stove. But then again, I just spilled flour all over my floor. You guys can actually see I have remnants of it on my pants and everything. I was in such a hurry to have to make everything. Um, but you know what? Just because I wanted to get that 8.30 time going for you guys. Didn't want to leave you guys hanging. It's never good. Never, ever good. Um, yeah. So, what was I going to do? I was going to show you guys something. Um, so, shout out to... I'm not going to say shout out anymore. Sourdough. Bread, because sourdough bread is amazing. I highly suggest anybody uh, go pick up good sourdough bread, because once you find good sourdough bread from your local grocery store, 
you just you never go back to normal, normal bread. Uh, this is the pizza crust that I'm making. Everything with. I spilled half the bag already, and it's cost me like four bucks. So great. So Bob's Red Mill makes really good stuff. Um, this is the pizza crust that I will never be, or I'm sorry, the flour I will never be buying again. So, just so you guys know. And then a little preview, just because I always do this for my live streams, a little preview of the next review that's coming up. So, you guys look forward to that as well. Um, and then nothing really else. I mean, I tried these. So, these are the, um, these are brand new. I haven't seen these in, in ever, actually. So, these are uh, chickpea good thins, so they go really well with like hummus or anything like that. You guys can do that sort of thing. I'm gonna pretend like I'm a chef right now, tossing my vegetables. Even though I'm not a chef, I try to be though. Never claim to be. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Um, other than that, there's really like Nothing that exciting, food-wise. Getting honestly pretty bored of food right now, believe it or not. Um, it's kind of just blah at this point. Um, what was I doing? Oh, it's been such a long day, I can't even think. I feel like whenever I do live streams on Saturdays recently, it's always been after very long days, so I apologize, guys, if I'm... Coming off as a pessimistic, pessimistic douche, but oh, it actually came out pretty, pretty decent. Not gonna lie here, I'm gonna toot my own horn or anything, guys. But check that one out. Boom, 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 boom. Legit, legit, bro. <laughs> you guys are ever in California? That's how everybody pretty much talks. I mean, for the most part, I'm not one of those people, or try not to be, but um, I also wanted to say, too, because I, I have a lot of international uh, subscribers, so um, in my international subscribers, I'm thinking about doing a little trip, oh yeah, that's going to know, that ain't that um, I'm thinking about doing a little trip. Either when I graduate or if I graduate, just kidding. I don't think I graduate. It's probably just going to be a good thing. Wow. Um, so I don't know where I want to go, though. I'm thinking Australia or the UK. I definitely want to go. I've always wanted to go to the UK. They have a lot of uh, crazy challenges, but it's just like, I don't know. Something about the UK just always is appeal to me. So I want to go to one of those places, either Australia or the UK. I can't figure it out right now. But obviously I want to, um, it would be awesome to meet you guys and to bring my bike and kind of ride around and then, you know, just so I don't have to like, obviously it can be good to meet subscribers, but Staying in hotels, I hate going to places and going to the tourist areas and like staying in hotels because you don't get the full experience. So, um, but you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, so it is what it is. Now, you guys are probably reading the title of this video or this live stream and are probably wondering. what I mean by it. Now, a lot of you know that I post videos, most of my vlogs and everything go up late at night, well, early morning. Um, early morning, oh, that was silly me. Um, anyways, yeah, so early morning is usually when I post them. So I got home last night, I wanna say probably around 8, 8.30. And, um, oh, hey, look, there's me, um, 8.30, and um, I just literally, this is pretty much what I do. I tell you guys all the time. I just sat down and started editing right away and um, edit, 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 and then 
literally just hit upload, made some food, went to sleep, passed out. So there was a certain section. I want you all to hear me out on this. There's a certain section in that video where um, I'm cooking, like you guys just saw behind me, I'm cooking and I was doing a little stir fry. So when I was filming that, what I did is I put the vegetables on the stove and then turn on a pretty low to medium heat. Um, and then I went to go take a shower and then something started burning. Then I heard the fire alarm go off and I'm like, oh shit, I'm burning something. And so I went off and um, my camera was right there. So I wanted to film a cute little segment of me stir frying some stuff. And um, I didn't have any pants on guys. Now I thought I was just being a little clever, a clever little Eric. And um, so I didn't have any pants on. And so I got a clip of me with no pants on, balls out and everything. Um, mostly, mostly penis, I'm not gonna lie. And long story short, there was a two second clip of my penis in this video. That's it, plain and simple guys, I said it. Uh, so I think I, I woke up with about 800 views on that video and literally just my penis is, is in that clip. And so I would say about half the comments that people actually noticed um, it was, it was pretty, uh, you know, the thing about that is I take very quick showers. Um, I probably was in the shower for probably, I usually take showers for about two minutes. I don't believe in long showers, um, unless under certain cir circumstances. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I, yeah, that was, um, that was pretty, it was pretty, you know what, at first, I, I just woke up and I'm like, oh shit, a bunch of people saw my, my penis, but I mean, I looked at it, I just wanna, I wanna say two things about this and I'm not gonna talk about it anymore because I don't want this to be about my, pe my penis at all. Uh, the first thing is, I looked at the clip of my penis and, um, no, it's not still up. It's, why, why would I leave that up at all? I don't know. Well, it's kind of tying into this next, um, next little thought that I have on this is awesome thought. This is very not awkward at all. Uh, this is a different live stream guys. <laughs> um, so it was up and everything, not my penis, but I looked at it and I'm like, you know what? Cause people were like, Oh, so, like literally every comment that was about it was the same exact one. Like, Oh, your dick, do you know your dicks in this? Do you know your dicks in this? Do you know your dicks? In this? It's like, do you think you can come up with something a little bit like more original? Like I would have made a joke or something like that out of it. And um, so I, I saw it and I'm like, I, my, for, I was like, it's not like a horrible, like, I mean, my penis just looks like a penis. Like I don't have a small penis. I don't have a big penis. Like I just have a penis. I don't like, this is kind of awkward for me to talk about, but like, at the end of the day, it's just a penis. Like that's kind of like leading me into my next last little thought on it is, and then I won't talk about it any anymore. It's like maybe, um, maybe uh, like having my, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to say, but bottom line is, it's like, I thought about it later on during the day. So like 800 people saw my penis. I think that's how many people were watching the video. And so about 800 people saw my penis, but like, I, is it weird guys that like I just didn't care like that's it I just didn't care so um but yeah see like this this person Canto Fitness is like constantly spamming the video both the chat and the video so with the same thing and it's like people um people like I don't know why but <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. It's just, it was really, really funny. So, um, but anyways, I, I just don't, I don't really care. <laughs> like I, I have nothing to be embarrassed about, about my penis. Like if you like, just think of a penis in a textbook and it's pretty much my penis. I'm not going to lie. I'm nothing special about it. <laughs> 
I'm done with I'm done with talking about penises. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> anyways, so shout out to 92 people watching right now. This has definitely been a different live stream. So definitely, again, been a very different live stream. I have a very awkward curl in my hair right now, um, but I definitely want to move on and talk about pizza and other things that people care about. Um, so this is actually looking pretty pretty awesome right now. Boom. Boom. As usual, this is the live stream pizza taste test. Oh, pizza gasm. Not a holy shit balls, but that's damn good. Serious guys. They're real good. Um But yeah. So do I think drinking superfoods bean powders is beneficial to your health? Um I already got a container from the supplement store. Well, there's no real point in like what I think if you already bought it. So I'm slightly serious with that. That was kind of a, a dick thing to say, but um yeah, most of those are okay. I prefer to get my green superfood powder in whole food form. So shout out to Synergy Training. I don't know if it's Frank or Harry, but you guys are the bomb. Love you guys. Love your channel. I've been subscribing to you guys for a while. You guys need more subscribers. You deserve more subscribers. So um, how often should you have cheat days? Never. Opinion on a day to remember his new song. Fucking tight. New song is sick. I was actually listening. I've listened to it probably about 20 times today. So. Just want to say, guys, not to be a dick or anything, but just to make sure that the live stream does move in the right direction. Um, I'm really not going to hesitate to ban anybody that goes on about my penis anymore. Just not going to be, I hate to be that guy, but I wanted to address it and then it's gone. So that's the last thing, the last time I'm going to talk about it. Um, favorite day to remember song would have to be end of me off their latest album. Um, but yeah, guys watch new glucose network after the stream. I talked to Abdullah yesterday, my boy, tell us all about the new glucose network video. Favorite band right now? Mm, I would say I'm liking a lot of children of Bowdoin lately. Shout out to Morgan. I'm actually gonna be seeing Cloverfield Lane. Cloverfield was my my favorite movie of all time. It actually kind of still is. Kind of still is. I don't think, I don't know, I, it's, I hope it lives up to it, but. Um, now, I did have an agenda for what I wanted to talk about tonight. Um, I've actually haven't really gotten this many comments lately any, or anymore really, but the whole you have to be 200 pounds to 200 pounds with 8% body fat to know what you're talking about type thing argument. 
but I've been seeing it in a lot of other videos. Um, I don't bring his name up a lot. Um, but Jason Blaha gets this a lot. Now, um, I just, I don't know. I don't, obviously I'm not going to fall into that part where I agree with people that believe this and, um, I do like every single Jason video that I do click on, I read in the comments, it's the same thing. Now, I do give advice a lot to people. And this can actually apply to a lot of things. I won't necessarily go into those things right now, but um but yeah, it's 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 people will still go by this philosophy that you, or this idea really, that you have to be absolutely shredded um, with the visible eight pack with, you know, striated glutes to know what you're talking about when it comes to fitness or anything like that, um, or nutrition, or um, it's actually funny to me to see most of the guys that I see that train at my gym um, that are like absolutely just freaks, like ripped, um, big ass lats, Giant back, um, no real legs on any of them, but I don't really. But you guys get the point. And I actually talk to them, and I'll show them like, um, like a sample of, of um, like branch chains or anything like supplement wise, and they have no fucking clue what that is. Like they just they're completely like, they're just like, nah. I mean, cool. I wake up, have have a bowl of oatmeal um, with a banana go to the gym and I'm good. It's like, people are just, I mean, I'm not gonna lie guys, like genetics plays a huge, huge, huge role in it. It's, um, that being said, I mean, there's kind of a fine line that you have to, you have to think about it a little bit. This is my main point. It's kind of where I'm going with it. The main point of this is that most of these people just kind of train the way they do. I mean, it's all about, I wouldn't say it's all about genetics, but what if I told you guys that I've been lifting, I think the time lifting that people, people base someone's time lifting um they correlate that to their experience level and like what if i told you guys i've been lifting for see how long i'm lifting almost seven years now and if i told anybody like that goes on fitness channels or watches youtube fitness and i told them i've been lifting for seven years they'd be like oh why aren't you 200 pounds in um, 8% body fat. It's like, that's the automatic assumption. And people don't realize that you go through, unless you're competing and plan to be a bodybuilder, you don't go straight up. You don't always want to be big and giant. You go through different areas of your life. You're a human being, you know? It's the same thing for riding bikes. Like, you don't have to always be like I've been riding bikes for as long as I've been lifting. I don't. I'm not going to always be, you know, at the peak of my, you know, cycling physique, if you want to say. Um, you know, I think that whole like correlating lifting time to your overall um, knowledge and uh, physique levels is just completely stupid. So probably opening it up. With, huge can of worms with this but like I've just been seeing it I'm not I'm not in like Jason Blaha videos but just like in general people and it's like people just need to pull their heads out of their asses so um yeah I'm just that pissed me off now the next thing I, I put vegan shenanigans in the description but I don't know what I want to talk about Other than the fact that it's been very hard to find genuinely good vegan cereal. 
So, I really wish Honey Bunch's votes were vegan. Um, so, do I believe if I stop cycling and just focus on lifting weights, would I be bigger or how do you think the outcome would be? Um, man, that's pretty much a non, like, I don't really even have to think about that one. I'd probably be, oh, I wouldn't be able to eat as much. Like, physically, I wouldn't have as much of an appetite anymore. So, that would suck. I don't know, maybe I get smaller. I have no idea. So, this is the part about veganism that I honestly, I really hate. It's like, is this vegan? Is this vegan? Is, it, is this vegan? But it's like, I guess I just have to just go check out some different stores. Like whole food stores, it's so much, it's so easier. It's so much easier to like know certain areas where, I mean, I don't know where I'm going with this, but you guys get it. What makes cereal not vegan? Um, well, for example, like Honey Bunches of Oats has clusters in it, and those clusters have honey in them. Um, most cereals are, they already have milk in them, whether it be in the flakes or the clusters or anything like that, so. When are you going to do another cheat day? Um, my advice would be to watch the latest live stream. Do I think cycling would help grow your legs with you squatting heavy? Um, short answer, no. Long answer, no. Thank you, Rebecca, for clarifying that my name is E-R-I-K. Why the fuck do they put milk in everything? That's a good question. That's probably why we have um, obsession with consuming animal products. Um, yeah, I don't know. How many times do I bike per week? It depends on what you would label as biking. I hate calling it biking. I'm a, I, I, cycling is good. I'm a cyclist. And I think bike, I think like mountain biking or like motorcycles. So... That's just me. That's just me. Guys, gosh, 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 gosh. Why does it feel like Saturdays I work like, it's so funny when people are like, ah, I'm gonna work on the weekend or take the weekend off, go, you know, have fun at the beach. And I'm like, bro, I'll be at work. And then during the week I'm like, oh, I'll be at work. I feel like I complain about this too much. You guys are probably like, I've heard this shit from you before, Eric, shut up. Stop complaining, Eric. Complaining will get you nowhere. But sometimes it just helps to vent to a computer screen, I guess. But I'm venting to 83 lovely people on a computer screen that are awesome. And clearly, clearly support me. Let's put it that way. Um, what else am I going to show you guys? I have. Oh, yes. So, this is funny. So, this has been sitting in my. This has been sitting in my freezer for probably about, I would say, like six months now. <laughs> this just looks not appealing at all. I have no idea. Oh, I bought a Target. I bought a Target because it was a, uh, you get one, buy, buy one, get one free. So I think, which one looks more appealing? I think you guys know. You guys know. Um, oh, yeah. This stuff is amazing. I put this in my last video. 
So the, you can actually put this in the um, you can actually put this in the oven and make um, make this like crispy. If you just like granted, you can make everything crispy, but you can really go to town. And it tastes like super good. All that soy, I'm just gonna grow a bunch of boobies. Like Abdullah says. Abdullah, 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 Abdullah. So, it's so funny that people still buy that myth. You guys know what I'm talking about. Soy gives you estrogen levels that are, that are through the roof, blah, 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 blah. That's what I should do with one live stream is just um, go through all of the bullshit nutrition myths that still exist out there and just laugh at them because I don't, I don't talk about actual nutrition enough on my channel. That was a good one. Um, where I think about the Hodge twins eating meat again. I think the Hodge twins were eating meat. I mean, you want my, I actually don't really care about voicing my opinion about the Hodge twins, but I usually don't talk about other channels, but Um, I think they were probably just eating meat the entire time. Like, let's be honest, guys. The Hodge Twins, it's an entertainment channel. That's all it is. Like, they're there to make you laugh. Like, I don't get why people are, like, a, a, like a, up in it. Like, they're upset about it. And I'm like, um, I couldn't. I... I was subscribed to them for a while, probably about a year ago. I feel like everybody that gets into like YouTube stuff is like, they know about the Hodge Twins. Um, um, yeah, Hanan, freely the banana girl will never make a video about me. I'm not big enough for that. Come on. I have to have like over like 200,000 subscribers to be even worthy of a mention. <laughs> um, Oh, I'm way cooler than them. Thank you. But anyways, I don't... I just think it's funny that people are mad about it. But at the same time, it's like they did mislead, mislead a lot of people. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm with Harry here. Um, I, think, I think it's Harry that's commenting. But, yeah, Synergy Training. By, by the way, guys, if you guys haven't checked them out, Definitely check out Synergy Training. They used to be called the Bodybuilding Bros. Um, I follow. I followed them actually since twenty um, early twenty thirteen. Wait, yeah, either yeah, it was like the middle middle twenty thirteen. I started subscribing to them. They make awesome stuff. You guys are into powerlifting and stuff, so. Um, but yeah, do I think that do I think the Hodge Twins juice? Um, possibly, I don't, I don't, the thing about it is I don't really care. Like what they do has no bearing on my life at all. So, I mean, even if they did, cool. What I have a problem with is people like that are like them. And if they're blatantly saying that, Everyone should do it and or if they're lying about it. So do I think RZ Fitness is hot? RZ Fitness is right now, contest prep. I mean, I'd date him. Do I ever plan on traveling anywhere like the UK? Oh man, that's brutal because I just talked about that at the very beginning. Bruh. Short answers, yeah. Um, vegan 10K challenge that Brian and Chelsea failed. I'd like to do that, but it would be hard because there's only one vegan bakery that does donuts in San Diego. And of course, when you go get vegan 
anything or anything that's like from a mom and pop shop, people will be like, how do you know the colors in that? Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, I don't know. I estimate just like you go to Krispy Kremes. That's all estimations. Like none of any of the nutrition facts and information that you guys see when you go out to like your, you know, Chipotle or whatever, it's all, it's all estimations. Like that's literally it. So hate to burst any bubbles there. Are RZ and I still close? Dude, RZ's in the man. RZ's actually one of my good friends. Like I consider him a really good friend. So I like to share myself with people that are very goal minded and driven and he's one of them. So what kind of video games do I play? I don't play any video games right now. How do I offset my challenges? Um, usually by going to sleep if I can. And I do another challenge with the LA beast. I've never done a challenge with LA beast. Katie falafel is amazing. I wish I could, I wish I could, actually, I could try to make it. How am I dealing with tiredness? Honestly, caffeine is amazing. How long does it take to edit my videos? Um, a stupid long time. And when you try to edit them in a short amount of time, bad things happen. It's just, oh, it's getting hard. It's like editing is, and I need to upgrade a lot of stuff on my computer. So, is it weird talking to a webcam all the time? No, not really. Is chicken vegan? <laughs> Strong. Strong. Um, Bryce Rux says, hey, cutie. I'm going to say, Bryce, thank you, but I just don't roll that way, bro. Coffee or tea? Coffee, no question. I found out today, so this is actually pretty crazy to me. This is mind-blowing. Um, mind-blowing. That dark, and I always thought this, dark coffee or um, like dark roast coffee was, or is, I should say, less caffeinated than medium um, or um, mild coffee. I Coffee beans, because I buy the beans, but somebody came in and bought a bike today that works at a coffee shop, and I didn't know that. I, I, I thought the opposite. So you learn something new every day. So learn something new every day. Um, I took four scoops of cellucor before riding today. Both a good and a bad idea. Ouch! That really sounds like a. This, this healthy is crispy. Damn. Uh, have I ever thought about reaching out to a company like Lennon Layers to do an eating challenge? I actually get a lot of, not a lot, but a, a fair amount of companies that contact me. They're just not like. They're not really appealing, I'm not gonna lie. So, um, yeah, I mean, potentially, landing, landing layers would be awesome, I'd do that in a second. Uh, next on the agenda was happiness. I'm not really sure what I was thinking when I was typing up the agenda today, I was at work. Nutrition and calorie intake. Um, nutrition and calorie intake, now, 
No, oh, I was going to talk about um, my overall nutrition, which has been I've been switching over. I'm trying my best to switch over to more of a um, high carb, lower fat diet. Protein. This is the huge thing with me. Is like I definitely get more than enough protein. You know, um, you guys saw my video. I posted probably about, I would say about a few days ago, with the sample diet. Um, I got like 220 grams of protein that day, like, so way more than enough. Um, I think now I could have to go less protein. Um, and then do, I'd probably be on like, dang, I'd probably be hitting like 800 grams of carbs a day. Um, which is fine. They just like, it's really starting to, uh, oh, it's really starting to get heavy. Like, I'm just going to let you guys know, it's maybe a huge TMI right now, but I fart a lot. And a lot, by a lot, I mean a hell of a lot. So, um, and when you guys get most of your protein from beans, nuts, Oh my gosh, it's it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So like, let's put it this way, like, I can, if it's me, if I'm in the morning in the gym, I'm spinning, I'm in my spin session, and I like to be in the spin studio alone. If there's just those annoying ass kids that come in there. And they just want to fuck around, and I just am not. I'm I'm pretty. I mean, I'm not a dick, but I can be a dick in the mornings, and I mean, I can be. I can be. I can get pissed off pretty easy. I can literally clear them out in about a matter of about a minute, minute and a half. I just wait. I plant the seed. Plant the seed. Do a little. I I fart a little bit, and then just wait for it. And they go, "What the hell is that smell?" And they're they're gone. They're out of there. Now, all of you, all of you ladies in the channel right now are probably thinking I'm the most disgusting human being in the world, but I'm weird. What can I say? What can I say? Um, it's a curse and a blessing. Um, I'm banned cause says vegan is good, healthy, and shit. Be it's expensive as hell. It's actually the opposite. Um, it is not. Expensive at all. Not expensive at all. Uh, rinse my beans. Do that already. Do I feel better physically since being on a plant-based diet? Of course I do. Of course I do. So, yeah, guys, if you're ever in my gym and you mess around in my, my spin studio, especially with the new bikes that I got, or I should say we got, or they got, I can measure my power output now. So I'm going to be in there a lot more. A lot more, let me put it that way. Now, right now, guys, what I want you to do, uh, what's my budget? I probably actually should make a budget. Um, so it's 9.23. You guys, I always like to do show you guys the Snapchats. So if you guys Snapchat me, I will show them. So do that now. Snapchat me, Eric the Electric. You guys are on Snapchat. Snapchat me. Snap, 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 snap. I saw someone Snapchatting on the road today. I almost killed somebody. It was a white girl. Literally. Not like that's a, uh, I can actually say that because I'm white. Those white people are, are silly. We're silly, what can I say? Um, that's why a lot of cyclists get killed every year because people are just being idiots. So, it's unfortunate, but the price you gotta pay, right? The price that we have to pay. I realize that most of you aren't cyclists. 
which is fine. And you should be. But then again, you probably think I should be something too. And I'm not. Don't be anything you're not. You always try it. You know? I think the biggest thing for people, like the biggest incentive that people can have for it is knowing that um, they, well, whoever's doing the bike riding, you can literally save so much money, like commuting to work, depending on how far your commute is, by just scrapping the car. And like, that's usually what gets people, it sucks people in. Because gas, does, depending on where you live, costs a lot of money. Um, and it's kind of a pain in the ass. So if you can ride a bike, why not? You know? So that's what I would do. Do I love Target? Yes, I do. I mainly only go to Target for a few things, but I have the red card. I used to work at Target, fun fact. I used to work at Target, but um, my ex-girlfriend made me get a, um, a red card. And so it's like for challenges and stuff where I need to get a, a bunch of Ben and Jerry's. Won't be happening anymore, but... Um, where I need to get a bunch of Ben and Jerry's, I can go there, save five percent, but not be a true five percenter like Rich Piano wants me to be. Um, um, but yeah, I can go there and save a good amount of money. So that's pretty much the only reason I go there. And um, they have like certain items that I can't really get anywhere else. Well, I can, but like they, their their stuff is just cheap. Like their coffee syrup that I get there. Um, yeah, I can only find it there at the at that price. But Target's Target's a cool company. I like working for them. Um, I don't think I told you guys how um, how that actually turned out for me. You guys are ready for a little story? Well, it's actually a pretty quick story. I will preface the story by saying it's the only job that I've ever, 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 ever gotten fired from my entire life. Now you're probably asking yourself, Eric, how did you get fired? My solution, or my, what am I saying right now? Or my solution, my answer to that. So at any corporate job like Target or Costco, Walmart, um, um, what happens is you have five hours and then you have to take a lunch break. At least this is the way it is in, um, holy shit, I have a lot of Snapchats. Um, you have to, you have to, you have five hours and before you can take, um, you have to work and then you have to take your lunch break. If you're at that point where you're like, even if you're like 20 seconds over your fifth hour, you still get talked to, you still get written up and everything. So I was the card guy at Target and, um, I was working on Memorial Day. I was the only car guy working that day. And I was, so basically what happens is my target, like you have to push, push, push as many cars as possible into the store before you take your lunch break. So when you, when you get off your lunch break, you don't have to like scramble, you know, for all these carts. And so, um, long story short, I was just right there. I had so many freaking people just take and take and take and take and you guys this is pretty much why I hate when people will literally push a cart around with a loaf of bread in it and that's it or a pack of gum I'm like are you serious right now get out of here um anyways so um I pushed as many carts as I got in and everything like that and I thought I was set up set I thought I was fine I was like five minutes um five yeah I was like five it was like three or five minutes before my fifth hour was supposed to hit. And so um, for some reason, I, that morning, um, clocked in. I didn't, yeah, you're, you're okay to clock in early at, at Target um, unless they changed it. 
but you're okay to clock in early. So I clocked in. I didn't know I clocked in five minutes early that day, or I forgot that I clocked in five minutes early. So my fifth hour started five minutes before that. So technically I was like 30 seconds over my fifth hour. And so I'll never forget to my, uh, my team leader or whatever, um, or my manager, if you want to say at target called me up and, uh, called me in and he's like, yeah, here's your letter. Nothing I can do for being 30 seconds over my fifth hour. I got fired. So I, um, I cried. That was, it sucked because I like working there. You get like mad discounts. Like you can use your five, your red card and you get, basically I got 15% off like everything. I got like all my stuff there. So yeah, it sucked. I cried. Anyways, uh, <laughs> on a lighter note. So while I answer Snapchats, I want you guys to post one question. I do, th do this at the end of every live stream. This live stream has certainly been interesting. If you guys are just getting into the live stream right now, I highly encourage you to watch it when it's posted because we've definitely talked about a lot of different stuff. Uh, let me just put it that way. So the first one, uh, oh, actually before that, yeah, guys. So I pick one question at the, every, at the end of every live stream and do my best uh, or answer it to the best of my abilities. Um, and yeah. I like to shout you out and uh, I have fun with it. So post those questions up while I post Snapchats and shout you guys out. Uh, first one's gonna be from Katie May. May. She says, D's nuts though. Cheeky, cheeky. Um, Hanan, I'm trapped in someone else's room for a week. I'm sorry, Hanan. It's time for your live stream. Boom, a little subscriber right there. Flawless says favorite Zelda game, and that would be Ocarina of Time. Jade says another live stream with the fam. Love you too. Love you too. Rebecca says fuck YouTube. Uh, she's sending me dick pictures. Cool. Sakop123 says Fresno. I don't. Okay. Thanks for the Snapchat, brother. World class douchebag, Curry of Peace. Jay says when the plug comes through. Interesting. James Hart, still tracking macros. Never was. Maximus Mondal says when it's time of that that time of the week, live stream, shout out, boom. Um, Will Cowley 10 sent me, uh, that was too quick. Corey Adams, who should be studying, but he's watching me instead. Sarah Jane says, first live stream, hi from Australia. Bri Brianna's Blues says, Zelda live stream. Chucky Bang, always a pleasure. That's it, man. Alicia Jor says, thanks for making my Saturday better. I'll be there soon. Don't worry. Soph DeVita. Fantastic live stream, Mr. Electric. Thank you very much. And the last one's going to be from Nick Lips, my boy, Eric the Beast. Fist bump, dude. Fist bump. Fist bump. Well, what do we have here? What do we have? I don't see a lot of questions. I don't think I even have, oh, I do have questions. I don't eat anything with a shadow. Level five vegan. It's good. Um, how many calories do you try to consume a day? All the calories. Hmm.
Do I deal with acid reflux? No, strangely enough. Dang, a lot of good questions. Does anyone know in my classes now about my YouTube channel? Unfortunately, yes. I can just answer that one right, right off the bat. Do I ever get sick of pizza? I've actually been eating pizza only once per week now. Well, this week I think it's been twice, but. All right, well. I think that I'm gonna answer this question because it's actually very important for most of you. So this one's gonna be from Sophia DeVita, who asked, do you think, sorry, I'm chewing food. Do you think a larger part of the population will eventually switch to veganism with, when natural resources start to run lower in the next 50 years? Um, this is huge, huge, um, guys, the fact of the matter is we do have, we're running out of resources. We have more people than ever on this planet. And I had to realize that, um, it's so important to be, to lead a lifestyle that, um, is sustainable and helps out everybody else long term. Um, and I think that, you know, for example, like commuting on your bike and um, doing your best to abstain from um, animal products and um, products like that, that um, are so they're, they're, they require a lot of resources. So um, I'm not going to say that it's, you know, I'm, I'm one of those guys that lives like, I don't need any, um, you know, or I, I, we're all consumers. That's the bottom line. So, I mean, it's at the end of the day, you're going to be a consumer in this world, but then again, just because that's inevitable, it doesn't mean you have to continue to consume as much as possible. It's the first, the first step is to realize that there's a problem and then do your best to, to, uh, to minimize that problem. So, uh, I feel like as we continue to move on and we, um, realize, well, we've already realized our dependence on, on, uh, fossil fuels and, and, um, all that, but I feel like things are really going to start to get bad unless we develop some sort of um, scientific uh, method of, um, or just an alternate way to, uh, to fuel our, um, our society, you know, I, I definitely think it's going to get, it's only going to get worse. So, so, <laughs> shout out to Anthony. I wanted to eat a dozen donuts today, but I didn't. I ate two dozen. Thanks, Eric. You're welcome, sir. That may or may not be in the next video, next challenge, I should say. Well, guys, it's been fun. It really has. Um, I felt really awkward talking about my penis. If you guys missed that talk, feel free to check out the live stream when it gets posted. Um, do me a favor, guys. Leave a comment below or in the uh, posted webcast after you give it a like, of course, about what you'd like to see for me, whether it be a challenge um, or something new on my channel that you want me to cover. I've been thinking about doing more talking videos and everything like that. Um, mainly around, you know, like nutrition stuff, training and everything like that. So uh, I might be probably posting another headshot video tomorrow. 
So stay tuned for that. And like always, guys, love you. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. Talk to you next live stream. Adios.